back on the record at 537. I'm continuing with questions. Uh, who is Zoya? I'm not sure if it's Garcia or Garica. Um, that was someone who worked for the ministry at one time. Somebody who what? Worked voluntarily for the ministry. Does she, is she still volunteer? No, no. Mm -mm. From what time frame did she? Um, 11, oh, 11 to um, the beginning of this year or something like that. Or the end of last year or something, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, do you have a child with her? No. No child with her? No. Did you have a relationship with her that was physical, sexual? No. Objection, relevance. Okay, that's fine. Right. You had no physical or sexual relationship with her? No. I have prejudice No. Pardon me? What did you just say? I, I can't no. hear him because I keep hearing. I said no. Okay. Because you keep hearing objections. No, yeah. But he keeps talking, so I can't hear so both. I place an objection on the record. So don't Stop say talking. No. Okay. Um, do you pay child support to a Diana Dean or a Diana, she might go by two different names, Kershane, if I'm pronouncing it right, C-O-U-R-C-H-A-I-N-E? No. Objection, relevance, no? No. Nope. Um, someone by the last name of Dorsey, Ildico, uh, Ildico, Dorsey, do you know that person? Um, yes. And who was that? Uh, she worked in the ministry years ago. What time frame would you say? Um, in 07, I mean 1997 to 2003, something like that. Okay, did, did she buy you a Mercedes Benz? Same okay. objection, relevance. Okay. Did she buy you, you can still answer, did you buy it? Did she okay. buy you? Go ahead and answer. No. Do you have a child with her? Same objection. No. Have you ever had a physical or sexual relationship objection. with Objection. Same objection. Okay. Well, that's Relevance, fine. prejudice. Yeah. What is the point of all <laughs> these questions? <laughs> I mean, that, that I, know. I can tell you later. It's, it's harassment. No, it's not. <laughs> um, Abusive Have you ever had a physical or sexual relationship with Debbie Frazier? Objection. objection. <laughs> can I answer? Sure. Of course not. It's so horrible. <laughs> um, it's so horrible. Do you refer to seeing Jesus face to face? Is that true? Yes. Okay, and what does that mean? Same objection. Do I, what do I do? Yeah. I'd love to answer that one. <laughs> well, I mean, he appeared to me in a dream like he's done people in the Bible, and he changed my life. And when was that? When I was 17 years old. Okay. And has he appeared since? Yes. And when would that be? I can't tell you. It's just been different years, times. Can you give me an approximation of how many times you've seen Jesus face to face? It's just been, what, do I need to answer that? Same just, objection. Yeah. You can still answer. What do I need to? Or yeah. Just not? Answer. Well, it's just been more than once or twice, three times. It's been multiple times. Okay, just as an approximation. If you said this started when you were 17? Yeah, I'd just rather not answer by numbers because I, 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 I don't know, actually. You don't know how many times you've seen Jesus? I can't, you I don't can't put correct? an exact count. Did you write a book about this? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and did you say in the book that you had seen him a thousand times? No, I actually said I've seen him over a thousand times over in a 20-year period. Okay, so, so I don't we're have saying once or twice, it's really more like over a thousand times? In the book, yes. You said I've that in the book? That. Okay, but it, is that true? It is true. Your position if you, is you have seen Jesus face to face over a thousand times? Yes. Okay, what does it mean to see him face to face? That's a term you use, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes. Okay. What What does that mean to you? Um, well, I mean, like you and I are seeing each other face to face right now. It's an appearance. The Bible calls it an appearance. So, he physically appeared to you? 
You have to answer out loud. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you said when you were 17, he appeared in a dream. Yes. You were asleep? Yes. Okay, so are you counting that as a face-to-face -face appearance? Yes, that's what the Bible calls it. Well, but you referred to you and I sitting here and that that was face-to-face, -face. so I'm kind of confused by your answer if you mean while sleeping you may have had a dream about Jesus or if actually you're saying that you, like you and I are here, mm -hmm. you've seen him face-to-face. Well, the Bible records he does it in both ways. No, in the, in I'm asking you. That's what I'm experience. telling you. That's I'm, what I'm telling you. I'm just asking your experience. I'm, I'm telling you, I, I will not give you an answer if you cut me off. Now, I'm telling you that he's appeared to me in a dream. The Bible is clear that he can do it in a dream or like he did to Paul physically on the road to Damascus, and I've had both. Okay. How many times would you say it was in a dream? Many times. More. Many times in a dream? Yeah. Do you, should I answer? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's a standing objection mm -hmm. to relevance. You, can you, you don't, I, I take it you're going to object to everything, so I just note <laughs> that. You don't have to. No, I'm, I'm objecting to relevance of prejudice. I'm just my question. Right. Um, all right, so the face-to-face the -face where you have physically had Jesus appear to you, not in a dreamlike state, right. but physically. Right. When was the last time that happened? Same should I? Um, I think the, the last physical time was in 2011 or 010 when I was fasting and praying in the church. And where, where was that? Oh, it was in a church. Right, where is that? Uh, up north. Up north? In Port Huron. In what church? Um, a church called New Covenant. And who was there with you? Um, no one was there. You were I was by yourself? There by myself. Yes. And what time of <coughs> day or evening was it? Um, it was more toward the evening. And you were in a church by yourself? Yes. Were you giving crusades or anything there? No. What, why were you there? Just praying and fasting. How did you end up in Port Huron? Well, I have relationships up there with churches. And that church is uh, very close in our organization. So, so explain to me what happened on that occasion. Do I need to? Over the objection, you have to answer the question to the best of your ability. Okay. Um, well, he just uh, appeared to me like he did Paul on the road to Damascus and told me what he wanted me to do. So he physically appeared to you like. Your attorney sitting across from your physical em embodiment of Jesus. Yes. That's what you're saying? Yes. Okay, and you are liking yourself like to Paul the Apostle? Not liking myself, no. i um, just saying those experiences happen. But you keep rep representing or referencing... Um, I'm trying to give you a reference point so you can understand what I'm saying. Tell me what specifically in the Bible refers to Jesus appearing face to face in a dream. Um, Paul had night visions. Although he saw the Lord physically, he also talked about how the Lord appeared to him at night in a dream in Acts. Um, Solomon had an appearance but from can the Lord. You, can you give me a site for it? Like where in the Bible, not just the story, but I'm exactly sorry. where it is? Yeah, Solomon in 1 Kings 3 and 5 had a dream, appearance from the Lord. Well, that wasn't Jesus, that was God. Came to him in a dream and appeared to him and asked him what did he, he told him to ask what he wanted and he asked for wisdom, which is a very known story. And that was in a dream and he awoke and he became the wisest well from an appearance in a dream. Okay, any other sites you can give me about dreamlike states? That are Abraham he's visited him. Abraham. That was a dream. To, yeah, he appeared to Abraham in a dream. Objection to relevance. <laughs> what is this a test? <laughs> I know. I know your objection. No, but I mean, I mean I'm going to state objection too. This is That's you, you are asking him about a man's personal faith. Yes. You know, and his personal religion in a case that he's dealing started out as a parenting time issue and suspension of parenting time. To me, this is an abusive process. And okay. It's he's a not a part of process. It's designed. To utilize 
for an improper purpose, a deposition. <coughs> and, and if there's ever, you know, a, a case of where, where somebody is crossing the line and utilizing the litigation process for ulterior motive, mm -hmm. this is what's going on right now. Are you testifying it, or objecting? I'm objecting and I'm stating it on the record. Did, do you have an appearance in this file? I do not. Okay. I referenced who I was in the end. I understand that. All right, so back to the, let's, let's be productive. Asking, you're making, like you asked you're, you're making an objection. Let's be productive. here is a courtesy. It's not. <laughs> Thank you, John. <laughs> you're Thank not you. permitted on the record. Well, Thank you. I want to use the time productively, and that was a pretty long-winded objection that went on beyond an objection. So let's go back. This, you, you, so you're saying Abraham saw... Jesus face to face, but it was a dream. Um, he saw, uh, he had a visitation from God in a dream, and Not Jesus. he saw Jesus face to face in the physical. Okay, and what is the biblical site for that? It's in Genesis. I, I can't give you the exact ch chapter, but it's uh, it was the chapter right before Sodom and Gomorrah. Is your um, <laughs> ministry biblically based? Yeah. I'm quoting scriptures showing you. Not exactly. I am. It's, those you just quotes. don't know the scriptures. If you knew the scriptures, you couldn't. You would know what I'm saying is in the Bible. It's true. You don't know them. <laughs> you don't know what I know. You couldn't. You you, you would tell you me don't where know they are. What I know. You could. It's not for me to testify. Okay. It's for okay, you. Okay, it's fine. Mm -hmm. um, how many times would you say in the last year? Since, or I'm sorry, in the, in the year 2011, did you only see him the one time in up north, Port Huron? Same objection. Do I need to? Asked and answered. He said the last time he saw him was in 2010 in Port Huron at New Covenant Church in Port Huron I, while he was fasting and praying. I'm just, this is just, that, that was, was the last physical question. appearance. So that's the last time you saw him. What was the, le the time before that that you saw him? Same objection. Relevance. Same um, objection. I, I, Do I need gentlemen, to it's just interrupting. I understand you're going to object to every to single thing I ask, so yes. let's just keep the flow going because we want to get out of here. Because the probative value is substantially outweighed by the prejudicial that, effect. That, that's fine. I, I get it. You're going to object to everything for every reason you can think of. Let's just keep this going. No, we haven't been objecting when, until now. No, there's a standing objection, which is fine. I have a standing objection. Right. So... When did you see Jesus face to face before the Port Huron place? Um, for two oh ten, two oh seven. And where was that? Um, what do you mean? What's where did you see Jesus? Or your city? Or right. I was in. I was asleep in a dream. I guess. So there was a dream, mm -hmm. and where were you sleeping? Uh, in St. Louis. It, it, your re, it, your mm -hmm. okay. And what was that experience like? Well, he just um, basically appeared to me to share with me something that he wanted me to say. I know. To somebody. I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't hear what you said. He basically appeared to me to share what he wanted me to say to somebody. Oh, okay, can you tell me what that is? Mm, it's private. It's priestly. Yeah, I'm it's not priestly when you have a dream. That's it not. Is there's priestly. no. Pri you there's don't know no the privilege on that. You don't know the there, word. There's a, pri yeah. there's a privilege on priests being required and called to testify about exactly. what they say to parishioners. Exactly. In a dream? No, he said. What? I asked what he said in a dream. This is real. I, I'm going to reinforce this. I can't objection. say I mean, that. This, that's, that's fine. It's, 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 it's not uh, proprietary. Yes, it <laughs> is. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm asking you what Jesus said to you in the dream. I can't tell you. It's for a person that I you don't you know, have it's to tell private. Me the, you don't have to name the person or name by a no, first name and no other it's name. It's private. I, I just, it's it's under, private between who? Under oath. I'm, I'm a priest, so I can't do You're that. You're a priest? Yes. Okay, let's Objection. Get, he's... He's claiming the privilege there is a clergy and parishioner. You're yes. objecting to his term of calling himself a priest? He's 
Well, are you, you referring, referring to a Catholic, Catholic priest? Because I'm not referring to a Catholic priest. He's not a Catholic priest, but he's um, a clergy. The Bible says he's we're kings and priests. I cannot privilege. get everything. I can't believe that. He's a minister. Yes. Right, well, let's go back to the culinary school. Um, what educational endeavors did you have after the culinary school? Um, say that again. What other educational um, endeavors have you had since culinary school, which I think you said was in uh, 98 through 92? Where else did you go to school? Um, nowhere. I was, I've just been full time. So you have I'm not sure. had any theological training at all? Oh, I have. Okay, so did you go to but school somewhere? Not to a university for that. I sat under other pastors and leaders. Did you go to any uh, certified? No. School? No. Seminary? No. Um, theological institution? No. So you have no credentials that right. are recognized? Uh, oh, I have credentials that are recognized. No, let me finish. Mm -hmm. No credentials that are recognized that say you're a priest, which is what you said you were. Not a Catholic priest. I didn't not. say Catholic and neither mm -hmm. did you. You said you yes. referred to yourself as a priest. Well, that's what the Bible called ministers of the New Testament when we're a priest. You, yeah, you couldn't, you know that because you don't read the Bible, you don't, under can you, or don't understand Can it. you please have your... We'll proceed with questions and answers. Okay. <laughs> so you have no certificate saying that you're a minister? Yes. What certificate? I, got, I was licensed in my teenage years in the Baptist Church uh, and also in the Church of God in Christ. So I do have license and I also have a Doctorate of Divinity given to me by Life University, which is a uh, very prestigious theological um, seminary. A Doctorate of, of Hold on, let me see. A Doctorate of Divinity oh, by? Yes. Life. Life University. And where is Life University? Um, it's in Texas. And did you attend that school? No. So I got is an honorary. It doctor, honorary. Okay. Yeah, from my years of experience. In All right. So you never attended Life University. No. Okay. And you can't tell me any other theological institution, seminary, or the like that you've received a degree from. Neither can Peter or the other apostles. But anyway, I, no. What? I, no. <laughs> Neither did what? Neither can Peter or the other apostles. They didn't oh. go to theological school either. But, but I, I'm just saying. We're talking about those back when Christ was? Yes, because you oh. know, Paul went. So there was theological schools back then, but Christ didn't necessarily take his apostles through that kind of When did you start process. calling yourself the apostle? Oh, I don't think it's the apostle. I don't say the mm -hmm. apostle like you're trying to make it sound. It's just an office like a pastor. It's an, an office? Like a pastor, evangelist. Do you read the Bible? I mean, Do you, you want to correct him on I'm his asking, interrogation of me? Because, I mean, you can't understand me if you don't have any point of reference. So you're saying that there is an office that's referred to as the apostle or as Have you ever an heard apostle? of a pastor? Are you familiar with pastor? Because an apostle okay. is a pastor. I'm trying to answer Could your you question. Could you please? It, just proceed with questions okay. and answers. Okay. And I'm going to object to the form of your question. It's argumentative. Yes. He's trying to explain that an apostle is similar to pastor, similar to minister, similar well, to I priest. think you're testifying, but that would be, let me get it from your client. Well, you've asked him several times. You keep not cutting it. me off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you don't okay. Study, you can't. Apostle. Just answer. Okay. <laughs> and now we're relying on the internet for <laughs> your questioning. <laughs> Does the Life University from which you got your honorary doctorate, does that still exist? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what year did you get this honorary doctorate? Uh, actually, they just presented it to me this year. 2014? Mm -hmm. Do you have a copy of that? Um, I can get a copy if that's what you mean. Um, and you're sure it's called Life University? I could be off on the, the few names. I'm 
The place that gave you an honorary doctorate, <laughs> you can't recall the name? Mm. Yeah, that's human error. Human error. All right, so you refer to yourself with what kinds of titles besides apostle? Um, evangelist. I mean, we could just drop the apostle, just evangelist or pastor. It's fine. And what a pastor usually refers to a church. Mm -hmm. That you or which you're a pastor, shepherd. where would that be? Well, I mean, I shepherd leaders and other pastors, so I train them. But it, <laughs> if you look up pastor, it refers to being a pastor over a church, a specific place. Yes, so I would be more of a bishop, or that's what an apostle is over oh. churches, so mentoring you're a other leaders, yes. Over other leaders. Who made you a bishop? <laughs> well, first of all, God did. <laughs> so that's through God. That's that's not through any um, religious organization. They yes, I have many organizations that acknowledge me as that. So no, it, <coughs> usually when somebody is a bishop, they go through a ceremony. I know there's a ceremony. There's mm -hmm. a specific church or religion or denomination. Yes. Are, do any of those apply to you? Yes. Okay, what denomination? Church of God in Christ. Church of God in Christ. In Christ. And where in, is that? Um, I mean, it's the biggest Pentecostal black movement, black Pentecostal. And they're saying, church. and you're saying they made you a bishop? No, they acknowledge oh. me as a bishop. Okay, I'm not talking about who acknowledges you as a bishop. Okay. I'm talking about. Is there anything well, other than you decided to call yourself a bishop that made you a bishop? Other than, you know, the Lord commissioning me to do what I don't doing then. Okay, so the, you and the Lord applied the name bishop to you, but you don't have mm -hmm. any other recognized Well, I, I would rather Let not me finish. use bishop. Oh. Yeah. I thought I, you said I that's what I should use. I go by more of Apostle Taylor, so as That's I said, drop the apostle. Now well, you're so you me. can understand. I'm trying to simplify things for you. Not really. But you, so you don't. You, but you, you decided to call yourself apostle. No, I didn't. Who did? The Lord did. Okay. When did He say you should be the apostle? The apostle. You keep. It's not like that. It's, 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 it's almost like you're saying, you know, the pastor or. It's not a the in the front of it. It's just an office that denotes a work. An office? A, that denotes a work. Like a pastor, you know the work of a pastor, the work of an evangelist. Do you know anybody work. else that refers to themselves as apostle? Yeah. Who? Thousands of people around. Thousands? The, yeah, thousands of ministers around the globe who go by that title. The go, or name one. Apostle John Eckhart. And where He's is he one from? In Chicago. There's so many of them. There's so, so. many. And, and they just decide to kind of anoint themselves as apostle? <laughs> Objection. No, You're that's not how it is. No, I'm not. I'm trying you know, to figure this out. It's time to wrap this up anyway because... I just think she don't understand. She don't know. She, you know, she you, can we... Okay. That, that needs to stop, okay? <laughs> like now. Well, it is because I think you're. No. Because he explained it that it needs was the to stop with him making then you commentary need to stop about with the me. Opponent. No, 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 no. Please. Okay. Are we wrapping this up because <laughs> no, we agree? No, I think we can go a few more minutes. Well, we agreed that we would I'm wrap not up gonna, in time for me. Absolutely. To be where I need to be. At seven. At seven o'clock, and, and I need that's to stop not, by my office on the way, which is just around the corner. I'm not <laughs> going to prevent you from doing what you have to do at seven. Well, that means I need to leave now. It's six o'clock. That's not what you told me before, today. That's not what I told you before. No. That's what you said in court. I said 6.30. I'm not going to keep you to 6.30, but I Well, have I can't make it to 14 in Mound and stop by my office I didn't know anything about your stopping at your office. That wasn't any okay. part of any equation that I had. Just for um, the record, I heard him say 6 earlier. Really. Not that Yeah, court. I did to you in court this morning. Let me ask you... Um, All right, are we wrapping this up or not? A couple minutes. <laughs> Um, has Deborah Frazier ever given you any cash? No. 
She's never handed you um, dollar bills in any form. No. Has <laughs> she handed you a check? No. Never given you a check? No. Everything goes into offering or like she's wired, but my hands don't touch the money. Oh. Okay. Um, did you ever tell Debbie Frazier that Jesus appeared to you and told you that Debbie should be giving you money? No. Did you ever reference your face-to-face -face appearances with Jesus or your, your conversations with Jesus to tell Debbie that she needed to donate money in no. your offerings? No, I've never done that to anyone. You've never had a conversation with Debbie Frazier about her gifting? No. None? No. Do you know how much she's given you? Yes. How I'm much aware. is it? Um, I think it's a million, or a little over a million. And you never had any conversation with a million other, dollar donor? Other, yeah, other than she gave it and I was appreciative that she had such a generous heart. So you did have a conversation with her about it? Yeah, I, I thought she was referring to before. Okay. You were saying before. The way you were talking was before. Okay, so you can clarify it. Yeah, so yeah, after I found out she gave that, I wanted to thank her for her generous gift, just like others have given like that. And where was it that this conversation occurred? Um, at the church, what, where what, everybody else is What at. church are you talking about? Uh, Taylor. So you had a conversation with Debbie at the Taylor Church thanking yep. her for giving you money? Yes. Mm -hmm. For giving the ministry money, not me. Not me. Has Debbie ever shared with you any of her visions that she has claimed to have? Objection. Mm -hmm. Foundation. Well, not only yeah. that, but it's privileged. Okay. He's not a pastor. He has no credentials as a pastor. <laughs> <laughs> He's self-anointed. That does not come under any priest, penitent, or pastor privilege. All right. I'm just privilege. For the, for the record, a pastor, it's not privilege. There are different religious affiliations, and to claim the privilege does not require a particular. Condition. That's right. It requires that you're a minister or you're, you're serving an evangelist. Exactly. It does not. Well, it does. My objections, no. That's uh -huh. fine. You can still answer. No, he can't. This is privilege. You okay. don't answer that question. Thank you. You're going to say it's privileged, yes. all his conversations with Debbie Frazier, because he's a pastor that he has, that he has anointed himself as? particular has? question, yes. What particular question? You want to repeat the question? You don't know what, what... I asked him if Debbie had talked to him about her visions. Yes. And I objected based on privilege. I'm and stand and by what is your, and your privilege is? He's a pastor. He's speaking to his parishioner. Exactly. His parishioner? Debbie member? is his parishioner? Parishioner, member, yes. You have the objection, he's been instructed. I, I don't see any credentials that he's been able to provide me in this deposition that he is an actual pastor. He's never been to any theological school, no certification. And now you're arguing anything. with me. I've already I am. instructed the client. Okay, then I'll probably have to take that one to the court. Okay. Um, we convene January 9th at 10. Correct. Okay. Yes. Good meeting. Brief the deposition for today. We are going off the record at 6.05 p.m.